good trial lawyers listen and they listen very very well great trial lawyers actively listen and it can really change the outcome of a case and I think the same principles apply when it comes to business when it comes to social media let me turn this around guys how you doing Mitch Jackson I'm trying to tap the screen I just want to say hi Here we go how you guys doing this morning and I think the same uh, active listening techniques apply when it comes to doing business offline, doing business online, when it comes to social media, especially engaging on social media. So during today's scope, I'm going to share a couple of thoughts, some things I picked up over the years. Good morning, guys. Things I picked up over the years about um, actively listening that have really changed I think the outcome of some of my cases and have really helped me achieve success both in trial and the negotiation room. So we're going to go through four or five different steps you may, may, may or may not have thought of before. Hey guys, how you doing? It's hard for me, it's really hard for me to see the comments because of the sun even though it's overcast. But here's what I want you guys to do for me. And we got high tides, beautiful down here this morning. This is Strands. And do a favor for me. While I'm showing you strands, while you're looking at the ocean, I want you to please just listen and tell me what you hear. Just listen. Okay. Most people will tell me what they heard is they heard the uh, surf crashing on the rocks. They heard the surf coming up onto the beach. You can hear the uh, the wind coming through the rocks behind me. And those are all perceptions that somebody listening is generally going to respond to. And those are all good answers. But there's another way of listening. And when I think of listening, I think of digesting, absorbing, interpreting information, okay? And when you listen, when a good trial lawyer listens in court, he's doing more than just using his ears. As a matter of fact, he's using his eyes. He's using his life experiences. He or she is using taste, smell, touch. All of these different senses are being actively engaged to absorb and listen to information. and. As I sit here, if you were sitting down next to me right now on the sand, and if you were listening with me, to to do a uh, you know just to do a little experiment, what are we listening to? What do you what do you what do you hear? What are you experiencing right now? Um, I think what you would probably walk away from is when I'm listening, I'm listening to the ocean and it's high tide and the waves are coming in a little bit. Look at this set right here. Look at this. That, that's a big set for strands. But I'm listening to the high tide and that tells me there's a storm coming in that tells me it's going to be good for surfing and uh, <clears throat> you want to be careful when you're out there. But I'm also listening with what I feel and my toes are in the sand. When I'm sitting in the sand, the sand's wet. That tells me it was high tide, the tide's going back out. Um, I can smell in the air very very fresh this morning you can almost smell rain in the air and that tells me that the weather is probably going to change uh, there may be a storm coming in from the south um, you know I'm uh, I'm looking at the wildlife and the vegetation and and bear with me you guys this is the real deal because we do this in court I can see that there aren't many seagulls normally there are a lot of seagulls here on the ocean especially in this section. They're not here this morning, and that tells me something's going on. And so I'm digesting all of this differ, different information in order to evaluate you know, what's really going on. It's not what somebody's telling me is going on, it's what am I evaluating? When we sit in court, when we have a witness on the stand, I am doing just listening to what that witness has to say. I'm watching his body language. I'm, I'm observing how he's dressed. I'm wondering if he's looking at the person asking him the questions or looking down at notes. I'm looking at opposing counsel to see whether or not she's writing anything down. How is she uh, reacting to what's being said from the witness stand? I'm watching the judge. Uh, does the judge look like he's 
giving the witness any credibility. I'm looking over at the jury. I'm absorbing all of their different signals in order for me to actively listen as to how I should approach that witness on cross-examination. I think when it comes to social media, when it comes to business, we can all do the same thing. Before engaging somebody on social, before engaging somebody on a business in a business transaction, you want to listen actively. You want to take in as much information as you can. You want to listen actively using all of your senses, 70% of the time, and maybe speak 20 or 30% of the time. Looks like I have a little friend down here this morning. And by doing that, what's going to happen is you will have a better perception, a better understanding of the true reality of what is happening. If it's in court, I'll have a good feeling for the flow of my trial. What buttons do I need to push? Do I need to back up, back off, or drop the gloves and go after somebody on the witness stand? I think that's really, really important. Um, in business, the same principles apply. You can learn a lot more by actively listening, using all of your senses than you will by speaking. One of the big problems I see on social media is we have a lot of people that speak much, much more than they listen. And I would just caution everyone to absolutely absorb what they have to say with a grain of sand because um, there's, there's so much more to the picture than what first meets the eye. So once again, guys, I can't see the comments. I have no idea how many people are watching, but I wanted to just kind of get this off my chest based upon a couple of hearings I had this week in court. And one involved a lawyer that was telling the judge what to do. And trust me, judges don't like lawyers telling them what to do. And I just watched this guy dig himself into a hole and it got deeper and deeper and deeper the longer this lawyer spoke. Whoa, tide's coming up. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's maybe the tide is uh, low tide to high tide. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things, if he had just stopped and listened, I think the judge would have cut him some slack. He would have approached the situation a little bit different and maybe gotten a different result for his client. So my takeaway, you guys, is when you're listening online, offline, in business, on social, live streaming, you know, use as many senses as you can. Watch as much as you listen with your ears. If you're in a room negotiating, you know, observe body language. Observe, observe whether or not somebody's nervous. Observe how somebody smells. All of these things come into play. Um, and, and I'm serious, it really, really does. And then process that information, select which type of response, what type of communication tool you wanna to use, and then and only then start broadcasting. And once again, that applies offline and online. So. I can't read the comments, guys. I see some of you commenting, and I really, really appreciate it. If you guys like this, uh, these tips on listening, and once again, just to recap, there's a difference between listening, which is what a lot of people do, and active listening, which I think is using all of your, all of your senses to process information, to bring in information, and really going on in the world, going on in your negotiation, going on in your business transaction, going on with your social media posts, your live streaming efforts. And, um, you know, if you like this, swipe up on Android and share left to right on your iPhone if you would. Reach out to me at Streaming Lawyer if you have any comments. Um, I'll post this at uh, my communication tips blog. It's Trial Lawyer Communication Tips for Everyone, where I share 30 years of different negotiation and communication tips that I've watched, other, I've learned from other people. Some of them I picked up myself, uh, and I share them at trial lawyer communication tips for everyone that's mitchjackson.com is the blog address and um, until then i'm playing hooky today by the way sometimes you have to just decompress right sometimes you have to um you know i've got high school soccer with my son this afternoon had a uh, telephonic court appearance this morning did it from the house just kicking back thought i'd come down here and put my toes in the sand put my toes in the sand okay put my toes in the sand and um and just chill out. and i already feel better you know batteries are getting recharged whoa so listen guys connect with me have a great day make today your masterpiece and uh, i'll see you soon online of the ocean bye guys
I cannot see.